Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to class four. Today we're going to be talking about integers. I'm going to show you guys an example of how to use integers to store a variable that we can use later on. So what we're going to do is create an integer that will tell us whether or not we should hop worlds or stay at a current world, depending on the players around us. All right, so to start off, we're going to create a new integer. We're going to name this integer hop integer. We're going to keep the value set as zero. All right, we're also going to create a new timer. This timer is going to be hop timer and we're going to set it to 10 seconds. All right, so now we're going to check to see our player count in the area. So we're going to check to see if the player count in the area is greater than or equal to one. And now what we'll do if, if the player count in the area is greater than or equal to one, we're going to set the hop integer to one. All right. So now if hop integer equals one, and if the hop timer is not running, we're going to start the timer hop timer. Now we're going to set hop integer as two. If hop integer equals two, if hop timer is not running, and if player count is greater than or equal to one, we're going to hop worlds. If hop integer equals two, if hop timer is not running, and if player count equals zero, we're going to set hop integer as zero. We're going to paste this here as well. And now we'll add a check for if hop integer equals zero. Now let's test it out. All right. So you can see here that the hop timer is running in our variable debugger. This is because there's a player in the area. So it hopped worlds and here we can see again, there's another player in the area since our hop timer is running. As you can see here, the hop integer equals zero and the timer is not running, which means there's no players in this area. I hope this helps some of you understand how you can use integers in your scripts to allow a better way to detect whatever it is that you're making. Thanks for watching.